Yesterday, we launched with a lightning strike. But here's the thing about lightning. It's bright, powerful, and over in a flash. Today, I'm going to show you how two companies turned their strikes into sustained storms. One revolutionized how we think about marketing. The other transformed cycling culture. Different industries, different approaches, same principles. I see you B2B, B2C folks back there. When HubSpot launched in 2006, inbound marketing wasn't new, but nobody owned it. When Rafa launched in 2004, premium cycling wear existed, but nobody had connected it to cycling soul. Let me show you how both companies built momentum to own their categories. Welcome back to Day 19 of 30 days of positioning mastery. Starting with strategy. Here's what most people miss about category momentum. You don't need to start big, but you need to start strategic. HubSpot launched Website Grader, a free tool analyzing websites for SEO and performance. It wasn't just a tool, it was a brilliant way to demonstrate the power of inbound marketing while building a massive database of potential customers. Rafa, they launched with a full range of premium products, but here's what made it different. They opened with a month long exhibition called Kings of Pain at London's Truman Brewery, showcasing cycling's golden era heroes. Not just products, a statement about cycling's culture and heritage. Both companies didn't just launch, they made declarations about how their categories should think, building through education. Next, watch how both companies built momentum through education, but in completely different ways. HubSpot didn't invent inbound marketing, but they became its best teacher. They created free educational content, tools and resources that helped marketers succeed. Their blog wasn't just content, it was a daily masterclass in modern marketing. Rafa understood that cycling culture needed depth beyond products. They produced stunning photography, films, and stories that elevated cycling's cultural status. Their website became a destination not just for buying, but for experiencing cycling's soul. Also, the website was designed by Work & Co, which is one of my favorite digital agencies. Fun facts. <laughs> the lesson, both companies became the teachers of their categories, but they taught different things. HubSpot taught how to do marketing better. Rafa taught how to love cycling deeper. Scaling through community. Here's where both companies did something brilliant. They built mechanisms for sustainable growth. HubSpot's partner program grew steadily, turning marketing agencies into certified inbound experts. What started as a simple partnership evolved into a powerful ecosystem of certified professionals reshaping marketing services. Smart, right? Every partner became invested in spreading inbound marketing. Rafa launched the Rafa Cycling Club in 2010. Wait, uh, 2015. Well before the trend of brand communities. Not just a loyalty program, a global community of cyclists with clubhouses, exclusive events, and shared experiences. These clubs became cultural hubs in cities worldwide, each one spreading Rafa's vision of cycling culture. See the pattern? HubSpot built a professional ecosystem that had business reasons to promote their category. Rafa built a cultural ecosystem that had passionate reasons to live their category. Both created systems where others became invested in their success. Content that powers category. Watch how both brands use content to own mental territory. HubSpot, they did regular blog posts teaching marketing principles. They gave away free tools demonstrating inbound methods. 
They produced research reports showing industry trends. They provided case studies proving real world impact. Rafa, on the other hand, conducted stunning photography capturing cycling's essence, films documenting cycling's rich heritage, and they told stories celebrating the sports culture. And in their events, they brought the community together. Neither just told stories, they created category, defining content that shaped how people thought about their space. Today, HubSpot is synonymous with inbound marketing, not because they invented it, but because they championed it consistently. Rafa defines premium cycling culture, not because they made better products, but because they connected products to purpose. Remember the value pyramid that we talked about earlier? Exactly. Tomorrow, we'll talk about digital category leadership. But today, look at your momentum plan. Are you teaching like HubSpot, building culture like Rafa, or are you just making noise? Share below, what could you teach your category? What culture could you build? How will you turn your lightning strike into a sustained thunder? I'll leave you with this. Lightning gets attention, but thunder creates categories.